Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. God, we give you glory, praise, and honor. Good evening. It is Saturday, April 23rd, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is our Saturday evening, evening, evening service. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us. I'm your pastor, Dr. Mark Dean. This is the Heart of David International Ministry. Glory to your mighty name. I do encourage you to like, subscribe, and share on our YouTube page and our Facebook page. And that is the Heart of David International Ministry. These messages will bless you. They will deliver you. They will strengthen you. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. We won't be before you long. But let me go ahead and pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you right now, Father God, and asking you for mercy, Lord. We thank you for your mercy and your grace. We thank you for your power in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the power of your word, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the power of prayer, Father God, the power of prayer the heal and delivers and set free. The power of prayer that do signs and wonders and miracles in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your son, Jesus, Lord. He died on the cross for us, Lord. He took all of our sins away in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Now, Lord, we pray that this word go forth with power, Lord. I pray that you will anoint me to preach your word and teach your word, Lord, that somebody get saved, that somebody get delivered, that somebody get healed, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray that somebody come out of their sin in the name of Jesus. We bind death. We bind death off of murder and death off of sickness. Hallelujah. Death off of shooting, death off of accidental shootings. We plead the blood of Jesus and we thank you right now. In the blessed name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. Excuse me. It's been a long day. Glory be to God. Like I said, I won't be before you long today. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. But I want to piggyback a little bit on uh, what we preached this morning. And what we preached this morning is the subject was who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, through faith unto salvation. Hallelujah. Who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation. That was the subject this morning. The subject tonight is Jesus is the only door. And we're coming, uh, we use the scripture this morning, but in St. John 10 and 9, Jesus is the only door. Let us go ahead and uh, read that real quick. Hallelujah. It says this, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pastors. Okay? Hallelujah. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. Jesus said, I am the door. And if any man enter in, Hallelujah. You shall be saved. When we're talking about any man, we're talking about mankind. Hallelujah. If you knock on Jesus' door, he'll let you in. Hallelujah. And, and sometimes you say, Jesus, will you let me in? And you know my past. Jesus said, I'm going to let you in. All you got to do is repent. Once you come to Jesus, you are saved. Jesus has washed you from your sin. Hallelujah. Mm. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Jesus has washed you from your sin. 
Glory to your mighty name. Glory to your mighty name. Let's go ahead and read uh, verse 7 in Matthew, uh, in St. John 10, verse 7. And we're going to read verse 7, 8, and 9. It says, Then said Jesus unto them, Again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. <clears throat> All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. Hallelujah. Jesus is telling you in verse 8, All that came before me are thieves and robbers, but my sheep did not hear them. Hallelujah, gentlemen. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Let's read verse 8. Let's finish verse 9 and go back to verse 8. Jesus said in verse 9, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pastures. Hallelujah. Let's go back to verse 8. Glory to your mighty name. Verse 8 says, all that, all that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. Jesus said, all that came before me are thieves and robbers, but my sheep, we're talking about the ones who are really saved, they did not hear them. They did not follow them. Why? We're going to tell you again, because they had a personal relationship with Christ Jesus, not a relationship with Christ just in the church or just when you have church gathering, but they got a personal relationship with Jesus. Hallelujah. At 11 o'clock at night, at 5 o'clock in the morning, at 2 o'clock in the morning, they kept their relationship with Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So if you have that relationship with Christ, glory to your mighty name. If you have that relationship with Christ, thieves and robbers won't be able to rob you. They won't be able to steal from you. They won't be able to trick you. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Jesus said, all that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. Glory to God, Jesus. But the sheep did not hear them. He said, but the sheep. He's talking about Jesus. Glory to your mighty name. Glory, glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You got to understand that Jesus is sheep. The sheep that are saved, they don't have itchy ears. Mm. They're not looking for necessarily a sign. Mm. Hallelujah. They're not looking necessarily for signs and wonders. And that Jesus will do because he said that. Mm. But the sheep that know Jesus, mm. hallelujah, they could not be corrupted. Hallelujah. They didn't follow every doctrine, every wind, whichever way that we ain't go, they follow it. They have a relationship with Christ Jesus. We preached uh, earlier, mm, who are kept by the power of God. Hallelujah. Through faith. See, these sheep was kept by the power of God through the faith that they had. Glory, Jesus. That they had. Glory to your mighty name, Joseph. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Whoo! Thank you, Father God. Mm. See, having a relationship with Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Whoo! Glory to God. Mm. You experience the power of God through the faith that you have. And the faith that you have did not allow the thief to come in and steal and come in to rob you. Verse 10 said this in St. John 10 and 10. 
he says this. Mm. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. So the thieves that came in, the ones that were not really of Christ, is the thief cometh. And he came not but to steal, for to steal and to kill and to destroy. God did not allow him to steal from you. He didn't allow them to kill you. He didn't allow them to steal from you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm. Hey, Jesus said, I am come that they might have life and that and that they might have it more abundantly. That they may have life and they that they may have life more abundantly. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. That they may have life more abundantly. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Thank you. That they may have life more abundant. So, mm, glory to God. Hallelujah. If you are kept by the power of God through your faith, he did not allow the thief to come in to steal from you, to kill you, or destroy you. Jesus said, I am the door. The subject is Jesus is the only door. And we're using St. John 10 and 9. Jesus is the only door. So you may see imposters. You may see other doors. But the only real door is Christ Jesus. The only way you're going to make it to heaven is going through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Verse 11 says this. Hallelujah. In St. John 10 and 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. And a good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Hallelujah. He's there to protect them. He's there to defend them. He's there to uh, fight for them. Mm. hallelujah he's there to put his life on the line when it's coming to one of his sheep mm. this is not an imposter this is christ jesus an imposter let me let me tell you what an imposter does somebody that is fake a wolf in sheep clothing clothing somebody that's a devil hallelujah mm. verse 12 says this but he that is it, but he that is hireling and not a shepherd whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep and flee it. Mm. And the wolf catches them and scatters the sheep. Glory to God. See, a real shepherd is not going to allow his sheep to be scattered. When the enemy comes, hallelujah. When the enemy comes, the shepherd is there to keep the sheep together. He's not going to allow the sheep to scatter. Hallelujah. When you allow your sheep to scatter, it is harder to defend the flock. But when your flock is there together, it is easier for you to defend your flock. Hallelujah. Jesus is going to defend you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Your church should be there to defend you. And what do you mean by that, Pastor? Your church is there to pray for you and to fast for you. Your leadership there is to pray for you and to fast for you. Your job as a saint of God, your job as a bishop, as a pastor, is to fight for your flock. Maybe they don't understand the spiritual warfare like you do. You got to step in in the spirit and start praying and start fasting. Hallelujah. Devil, not up in this house, not in the house that God has sent me as a, as a shepherd or sheep or overseer. Uh-uh, I'm not going to let you take nobody out. 
Whoo! I'm going to fight for every single person up in here. I don't care if they don't like me. I don't care if we don't get along. God gave me this. He has ordained me to do this, and I'm going to do my job. And no, I'm not going to die from it. The blood of Jesus come against you. Hallelujah. I said the blood of Jesus come against you. Glory to your mighty name. The shepherd of the house. Mm. Hallelujah. Takes mm, his orders or his command from Christ Jesus. And sometimes as a leadership. Sometimes as a pastor, you got to fight for the church. You got to fight for your congregation because sometimes they're being under an attack that some of them may not know how to deal with it. Yes, they're doing the best they can, but you got to stand up as the shepherd of the house and rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Nobody's going to be possessed, oppressed. We're not going to have suicide. Hallelujah. We ain't going to have no murder, suicide. We're not going to have divorces up here. Ain't nobody going to die. Ain't nobody going to get murdered. Illness or sickness will not take them out. Hallelujah. Because I'm doing my job because this is what God has told me to do. My job is to pray. My job is to fast for the church. Hallelujah. Right now I'm talking about my church, but my job is also to pray for the church universal. Hallelujah. You see the uh, devil coming after one of your friends. Hallelujah. You're a pastor. They may be at another church. They be in, may be another pastor. It's your job to fight for them. Hallelujah. It's your job to get in prayer for them. It's your job to tell the devil loose in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That is a man of God, and you will not touch him. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. It's your job to fight for your family. I'm talking about your immediate home. Devil, you're not going to tell my family up. And maybe the devil has snuck in in the past and fractured your family. But now you're saying, no, devil, you're not tearing my family up anymore. I'm going to get back everything that you stole or you think you stole in the name of Jesus. Why? Because I believe in the power of the word. Hallelujah. I believe that God will do all that he said he's going to do. I know it because there's power in his word. I've seen the power of his word work. Hallelujah. In my life and in other people's life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I got the faith to make the power of God's word work in my life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Glory to your holy name. I said glory to your holy name. Everybody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Let's go back up to verse 11 in St. John 10 and 11. Hallelujah. He said, I am the good shepherd. The, shep the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. That's what Jesus did on the cross. He is a good shepherd, and he has given his life for his sheep, and that is mankind. Glory to your mighty name. That is mankind. He took the sins of the world upon himself. Stop, Jojo. Upon himself. So man can be redeemed. So man can get to heaven, can make it to heaven. So man will have a strategy against the devil. So he can have spiritual weapons against the devil. The devil will not come in to steal, kill, or destroy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. The good shepherd, glory to God, which is Christ Jesus. And let's talk about some good shepherds here that has a congregation. Sometimes you got to stand in the gap for your congregation. Every single person, 
every man, every woman, every child. Even when a visitor comes, you got to fight for them too. Glory be to God. Why? God has given you that commandment. He has given you that ability. He has given you that authority. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Glory. Why? Because you are the good shepherd and God has an anointed you to fight for the people and to cover the people in prayer and fasting supplication. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Glory to your mighty name. I said, glory to your mighty name. So we got to know that we have to fight for a congregation. If you're a bishop or you're a friend of a pastor, sometime as a bishop, you got to fight for the pastors that's under you. You may have 20 churches, you may have 100, but at some point in time, sometimes you got to fight for every single one of them. Hallelujah. The Lord is telling you to fight for those who are under you. Hallelujah. Pray for those who are under you. Fast for those who are under you. Encourage those who are under you. Hallelujah. We're talking about the real ones that are real shepherds, not somebody who's just carrying a title. We want somebody that's real. We want somebody that's carrying the title that is real. A real bishop who got a heart for his congregation, a real bishop who has a heart for his pastors that's under him. Hallelujah. And he's going to fight for them. Glory to your mighty name, gentlemen. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Jesus is the only door. Remember that. Jesus Christ is the only door. And I keep repeating it. It ain't through Muhammad. It ain't through Buddha. It ain't through Confucian. Hallelujah. It ain't through evolution. It's only in Christ Jesus. He is the only one who died and got up. He is the only one who died for your sins and took the sins of the world upon him. Hallelujah. He is the only one that took the keys from hell from the devil. Ain't nobody else did that. Listen, if you in hell, you ain't coming out. Jesus came out. He's sitting on the right hand of the Father. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Let's go to John. I told you we're going to end early today. So give me a couple more minutes. Let's go to St. John 14 and 6. Mm. It says this. Mm. Jesus said unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And I keep telling you, you can't get to God if you can't go to Jesus. You can't bypass Jesus. You can't go over Jesus' head. You can't go around Jesus. You can't go under Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Why? Because he's the one who died on the cross for you. He shed his blood for us. You can't say that about nobody else. Hallelujah. They didn't do it. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. My God, hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. I said, glory to your mighty name. Let's read verse 7, Matthew 14 and 7. If ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. And from henceforth, ye know him and have seen him. Listen to me. Jesus said, if you know me, you know my father. That's how close they are. If you have seen me, you have seen my father. That's how close they are. That's how much they look alike. Whoo, that's how much they talk alike. Whoo, Jesus, glory to God. God the Father are all about holiness, all about righteousness and sanctification. Hallelujah. Jesus said, 
mountain. You can't get there unless you go through me. Jesus is the only door. That's the subject. Jesus is the only door. So you go pick another door just because you want to pick it and you get mad and you try to rebel. Hell will be your home. Go ahead and open the door that is tried and that is proven. That is Christ Jesus. He has stood the test of time. The word has stood the test of time. And we've already said, and it said it in his word, Matthew 24 and 35. Heaven and earth may pass away, but my word, see, but my word will never pass away. That's why there's power in God's word. When you go back and you look at Elijah when he died, he was dead for over a hundred years and they forgot where they buried him and they threw a dead man on Elijah's bones. And after a hundred years, Elijah's bones was still anointed and the dead man jumped up. Hey, hallelujah. Cause he hit some anointed bones. Understand. I know Elijah is up in heaven, but his bones down here. They were still anointed. They were still doing miracles after he was up in heaven. Glory to your name. I said his bones were still working miracles after he was up in heaven. Glory to God. That's how much uh, anointing you want. That's how much of a relationship that you want and you need with Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. You don't say I'm going to serve you today, but I ain't going to serve you tomorrow. I'm going to serve you on Saturday. I'm going to serve you on Sunday, but I ain't going to serve you through the week. That's not a real relationship with him. You serve God every day. You serve him by giving him your time. Pray. Read the word. Well, how long should you pray? That's between you and the Lord. How long should I read? That's between you and the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God that God can speak to me. I thank God that God can order my steps. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Let's go on. Woo and read verse, uh, let's go to chapter 15, St. John chapter 15 and one. And we're gonna read a little bit, probably down to four, maybe five. Hallelujah, it says this, I am the true vine and my father is the husbandman. Mm. Every branch in me that bears not fruit, he taketh away and every branch that bears fruit he purges it that it may bring forth more fruit. Listen, he's telling you right now, if you don't bear no fruit, he's going to cut you off. But the ones who bear fruit, they purges around them. He plucks it up. He, he deep weeds them, as you call it. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Verse 3. Now ye are clean through the word which have been spoken unto you. Now you are clean through the word which have been spoken unto you. You are clean through the word which have been spoken unto you. Receive the word. The, research, the word of God cleanses you. It cleanses you. You have been clean through the word of God. You are clean through the word of God. Receive it. Believe it. Meditate on it. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Mm. Verse four. Abide in me and I in you. As a branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine, no more can ye except ye abide in me. The only way you can bring forth fruit. Hallelujah. Good fruit is in Christ Jesus. Christ is the root. He is the base. You are branch. God is that tree. He's that big tree trunk. Woo! And even though these trees can have hundreds of 
uh, 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 tree limbs and thousands of limbs. Hallelujah. It's one tree. Hallelujah. It's one set of roots. Hey, glory to God. Mm. Whoo. And the root is going down into living water. Mm. Hallelujah. A well of living water. And that's why you are clean through the word of God. Hallelujah. Be washed in the word of God. Be clean in the word of God. The subject again is Jesus is the only door. Hallelujah. Jesus is the only door. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is the only door. Mm. Hallelujah. Verse five. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Without Jesus, you can do nothing. Without Jesus, you can do nothing. Why? Because Jesus would do things for you that you know it's only been the Lord Jesus Christ who's done this for me. It's only been the Lord that done this for me. If it had not been the Lord, I would not be able to do this. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost gave me the ability to do this. Hey, glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's read verse five again and understand this. Jesus says, I am the vine and ye are the branches. We just spoke about that. Hallelujah. He that abided in me and I in him. Hey, glory to God. The same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. You're not the captain of your ship. You don't control your own destiny. I know you want to. I know you try to. I know you hope to. Hallelujah. But Jesus is the one. You're blessed because of Jesus, not because of you look good and you did this and your ability. Jesus did that. Glory to your mighty name. Remember the subject and we're going to end right here. Jesus is the only door. Jesus is a tree. And you are the branches. Jesus is the vine and you are the branches. Whoo! Stay connected to the vine, which is Christ Jesus, which gives you life, which allows you and helps you bring forth good fruit. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Which allows you to bring forth good fruit. Mm. Let's go to verse six. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered, mm. and men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. You don't want to be withered up as a saint of God. Mm. You want God, you want Jesus to continue to pump life into you, to continue to wash you in the word, to continue to anoint you, to continue to give you revelation, to continue to stir the gifts up on the inside of you. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Jesus is the only door. That is our subject. Jesus is the only door. There ain't no sense of you trying to look for something else. Hallelujah. Some other religions. Hallelujah. You shouldn't do it. Jesus is the only door. Hallelujah. Don't get caught up. And people said, oh, that's a white man's religion. You better study your Bible. Jesus is the only door. Hallelujah. If you don't want them accept him, that's you. But Jesus is the only door. Hallelujah. He died for the sins of the world. I said Jesus died for the sins of this world. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. You haven't heard of nobody else dying for the sins of this world. You have not heard of anybody else dying for the sins of this world. 
No, you haven't. You have not heard of somebody who they call it a Messiah, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Jesus died and got up from the grave. He's sitting on the right hand of the Father. But before he did that, he went down in hell and took the keys of hell from the devil. Hallelujah. He led captivity free. Mm. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Verse 7. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Matt, uh, St. John 15 and 7. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. If ye abide in me, my word and my word abide in you, and ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. If you abide, who glory to God, in God's will. If you abide in his word, whatever you ask for, he's going to give it to you. Well, why do you know what we ask him for in God? Because you in God's perfect will. You have been praying. You have been seeking the Lord. And you're asking according to God's will that he has for you. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory. To your mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Mm. Whoo! Glory to God. Let's read verse 7 again. St. John 15 and 7. If ye abide in me, and my word abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you. Jesus said, and my words abide in you. Ask what, he, what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Hallelujah. When Jesus said that, that means he's telling you, look, you are in my perfect will. And whatever you ask for, it'll be in my perfect will. Remember, Jesus already know what you're going to ask him before you start praying. Whoo, glory to God. I said, Jesus already know what you're going to ask for before you ask him. It is already done before you start praying for it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Let me calm down. I said we wasn't going to be on too long. So let me go ahead and wrap this up a little bit. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Whoo. Mm. Hallelujah. Let me go. I, let me stay on verse seven. If ye abide in me and my word abide in you. Jesus said, if you abide in me and my word abide in you. See, remember the subject. Jesus is the only door. And he told you. Mm. If you abide in me and my word abide in you. Hallelujah. Can nobody's other word abide in you that's going to get you delivered that is going to get you saved, that is going to strengthen you, that is going to strengthen your home, that is going to make you the man of God that you're supposed to be, that's going to make, help you be the woman of God that you're supposed to be. Hey, glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Let's read verse 8. Heaven is my father's Glorified. Heaven is my Father glorified, that ye may bear much fruit. So shall ye be my disciple. You want to bear much fruit in Christ Jesus, so Jesus can say, You are my disciple. Hey, glory. So you can, so he, so Jesus can say, You are my disciple. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm, mm. Let's go to verse 9. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. As the Father has loved me, hallelujah, so I have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. The love of God, hallelujah. Mm. The love of God. Jesus said, my Father loves me. 
and I love you. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm. Continue ye in my love. You are supposed to continue in God's love. Continue in ministering in love. Hallelujah. Continuing and in, in, in witnessing in my love. Continue to be testifying in my love. Continue to be teaching in my love. Hallelujah. Continue to be judging in my love. Hey, in my love. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory mm, to your mighty name. Let's read verse 10. If ye can, if ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. Hallelujah. Let me read verse 10. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. Hallelujah. That's abiding is his love. Glory to your mighty name. We just told you Jesus is the only door. Jesus said, if you abide in me, I will abide in you. And you or we will bring forth much fruit, good fruit. Hallelujah. Jesus is the only door, the only way to heaven. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Before we leave today, hey, I want to know, are you saved? If you are in a bachelor position or out of fellowship, or maybe you've never known God, this is the best time to get your relationship back on track with Jesus, or it's the best time to get your relationship with Jesus for the first time. Hallelujah. All you got to do is have true repentance, true repentance that need not to be repented of. All you have to do is say, Lord Jesus. Forgive me. I have sinned. I have messed up. Lord, I come to you right now in my sin, and I'm asking you to wash me in the blood of Jesus. You say, Lord Jesus, thank you for washing me in the blood of Jesus. Thank you for your mercy and for your grace. And thank you for your long suffering in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. If you are sincere about your prayers, God heard you and you are saved right now. See, because you got to confess with your mouth that the Lord Jesus, that you believe that he died on the cross for you and that he rose on the third day. Hallelujah. You got to believe that. Now you got to confess with your mouth. Hallelujah. Mm. Whoo, and confess it. Hallelujah. That Jesus is the son of God. And you believe that Jesus died on the cross for you. Mm. Whoo, would you get that revelation of what Jesus did for you? Even when you were in your mess, you can't do nothing but shout for joy. Glory to your mighty name. You can't do nothing. Mm. Glory to your mighty name. But shout and sing praises unto the Lord. Remember, Jesus is the only door. Jesus is the only way. You abide in Christ Jesus so Christ Jesus can abide in you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And y'all will bring forth much fruit. Hallelujah. Y'all will bring forth good fruit in the name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory to your mighty name. Mm. Hallelujah. Let me read uh, uh, Romans chapter 10, verse 17. It says this. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So when it says faith cometh by hearing, go to church, listen to a real man of God. I got to keep saying that. You want somebody that's real. You ask the Lord to, let me go to somebody's church that's real. Let me listen to somebody on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, 
Instagram, whatever it is, that they real and that they preach the word with power. Hallelujah. That every devil and every demon must flee. Hallelujah. Why? Because the power of God's word is going forth through an anointed vessel of God, through anointed man of God in the name of Jesus. And as you are listening to that word, you ask the Lord to give you revelation and you ask the Lord to strengthen you and you ask the Lord to give you obedience in his word. Glory to your mighty name. You ask the Lord to deliver you. Deliver me, Father God, from me. Sometimes I am my own worst enemy. I need you to deliver me from me, Father God. Hallelujah. I need to tear down this old man, get out of this old man, and get into the new man. Glory to your mighty name. Father God, we give you praise today. We give you honor and we give you glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Again, if you have any questions, you can go to HODIM1117 at gmail.com and you can leave me a, 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 a question, a statement, prayer request. You can leave it there or you can leave it on the website, HODIM.org. We, we believe in prayer. We believe in the power of prayer. Hallelujah. If you need some biblical counseling, some spiritual counseling, we are here for you. We come right out the Bible. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. I encourage you again uh, to like, subscribe, and share on our Facebook page and our YouTube page. And that is the Heart of David International Ministry. Hallelujah. You'll see my picture there. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. You got to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Hallelujah. What did I just read to you? Hallelujah. So then faith coming by hearing, you want to hear the word. You want it on the radio. You want it on your CD. You want it on whatever you're listening to. You want the word to get down on the inside of you. Make sure he purged you from all residue of sin, whatever it is. Hallelujah, purge me that there be no residue of sin in me or on me. I don't want it in my eye gate. I don't want it in my speech. I don't want it in me or on me. I want the Holy Ghost down on the inside. I want you to marinate the word of God on the inside. Marinate it in my bones, Father God, in my heart, in my spirit, and in my soul, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. We are about to go, and I do encourage you to uh, join us Tuesday at, uh, I don't know what time. It's either going to be at 7.15 or 8.30. I think I have uh, uh, practice on Tuesday, but I will let you know if I'm not here at, at 11, at 7.15, I will be here at 8.30 so we can do our corporate prayer. Glory to your mighty name. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Remember the website, HODIM.org. My personal email address, HODIM1117. You can go there for prayer. You can go there uh, for questions and comments. Hallelujah. If you need biblical counseling, you can go there. We will get back to you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This power in the name of Jesus. Be strong in the Lord, hallelujah, and in the power of his might, in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Amen.